Hi and uh, welcome to another video in this series which attempts to answer the most frequently asked questions about Fantasy Grounds Unity. Um, and in this video we're going to look at the uh, line of sight functionality, uh, how to uh, add occluders to your own maps and various tips and tricks that you can use to accomplish that. Um, now there's been a couple of videos done before, these are fairly old um, and inaccurate. Uh, so. We're still in beta, however, so again, what's been said in this video may change, um, but it's pretty stable at this point. I don't see a lot of changes uh, coming before final release. So at any rate, um, in order to add line of sight onto a map, we need a map. Uh, so let's pick one. Uh, and we need to unlock the map uh, to open up the toolbar. And the tool that we want to use here is the line of sight one. So we click that and that opens up uh, all of the various uh, functions which allow us to add line of sight. Uh, it's split into uh, a variety of different sections really. We've got the select tool, a line, a rectangle and an ellipse tool. We've also got walls, uh, terrain, doors and toggleable walls. We're not going to worry about this icon here uh, in this video. Uh, we've got a couple of um, uh, buttons for removing and deleting pointers and we've got the magnetic snap tool. And we'll cover all of these uh, as we go through. Um, so let's uh, zoom in a little bit into this map um, and let's uh, start off uh, looking at the uh, lines. Um, now, the, these the tools up at the top are common to all of the uh, tools at the uh, uh, underneath them here. So we've got uh, walls here. So at the moment we've got uh, line selected and wall. So when we draw, we're going to uh, draw a wall, naturally enough. Um, we simply start by clicking a point. And as you'll see then that your uh, cursor gets this uh, red line attached to it. Um, you can move this around and whenever you want to make another point um, you just click um, and then move again and then uh, click. Uh, you can also use the spacebar to uh, add in points uh, by just simply pressing the spacebar when you want the point to be uh, put down. And then when you're done you can either uh, double click to end uh, or press the enter key. And uh, that's it, you have uh, drawn your first wall. Uh, now for some reason if you don't like where any of these points are, um, then you can come into the edit tool by selecting the uh, selector here. And then you can uh, click on any of these points and then simply drag the point around to reposition it if you would like to do so. If you hold down uh, shift uh, you can select multiple points and then you can move the whole thing. Uh, if you double click at any point uh, on the line, then you select everything. You can then move the entirety of the whatever it is that you have uh, drawn. Uh, clicking on any of the other points again uh, will uh, sort of deselect uh, everything except that one point and you can then uh, move around again. If you don't like anything that you have done, you can uh, press CTRL and Z, uh, which will uh, remove the last thing that you did. And you can uh, press this multiple times to keep cycling through uh, and it'll uh, delete the uh, last thing that you did. Uh, if you go too far and want to uh, get something back that you've deleted, then CTRL Y uh, will replace that uh, portion of the line that you've drawn. If we now wanted to draw another line to join these two points up here, if we zoom in a bit, um, if we click uh, anywhere near this point it will snap to this point because we've got the magnetic snap tool on. And if we drag our line up and as you can see uh, as we get closer to this point here the line is snapping uh, to that point. If you don't want it to do that, if you don't want it to automatically snap to that, then if you hold down the CTRL key, then it will no longer snap to that point. And you can then end the point wherever you like. 
Um, you might want to do this for some fine uh, things where two uh, lines are, I mean, supposing we wanted to continue this line on here, for example, if we hold down CTRL key, then we are able to achieve that uh, without the uh, line wanting or want wishing to snap to here. Uh, if we zoom right in again, we can then draw a line here if we wanted to, and you can see it'll snap. Again, if we hold down CTRL, it won't snap, so you can get very fine control uh, by uh, doing so. If we uh, don't like uh, what we have done, uh, we can uh, again use our selection tool to double click uh, on any one of these lines and then press the delete key to remove that section. Um, and you can carry on uh, doing that. Uh, if we also wanted to get rid of the whole thing, we can simply draw a rectangle around it to select everything and then delete it. Uh, in addition to the uh, line uh, for the wall, we can also draw rectangles. We select the rectangle tool and just hold the left mouse button down, start where you want to start and just drag and you will get uh, a rectangle. Uh, again, um, as with the lines, if you select a point on here, you can drag that point around if you wanted to. If you hold down shift whilst you select, um, you can select multiple points and drag them around. And if you uh, double click, uh, you can select the whole thing and drag the whole thing around. And, uh, of course, uh, if you wish to uh, just delete a point, you can uh, just uh, do so, selecting it and deleting it. And you can delete everything by double-clicking and selecting. If you want a perfect square, then hold down Shift whilst you drag. And as you can see now, no matter where the cursor goes, uh, we get uh, a perfect square. Uh, the circle is very similar. If we get rid of our uh, square here, oh, let's get the select tool first. Uh, we get rid of the select the, the square and select the ellipse. And again, we simply just hold down the uh, left mouse button and drag, and we get an ellipse of any shape that you like. Uh, once you uh, let go of the left mouse button, it uh, draws it and draws lots of points on it. And just like everything else, uh, you can uh, select a point on this and drag that out. You can hold down Shift and select uh, multiple points uh, and drag that around. Uh, you can also delete the points that you have uh, selected as well. Uh, you can uh, double click to select the whole thing and delete it that way. If you want a perfect circle, uh, hold down the Shift key whilst you drag and you will get uh, your circle. Uh, so let's get rid of our circle and uh, let's look at the uh, toggleable wall tool. And the toggleable wall tool is very similar to the wall in that you have exactly the same functionality as you have with the wall. Uh, the only difference being that in game a toggleable wall is toggleable in that you can switch it on or off. Uh, so the wall, the wall tool um, is solid. Um, the a token can't see through the wall, can't move through the wall, whereas a toggleable wall uh, has all of that functionality, but the dungeon master can switch that wall on or off. Uh, so the uh, this is what you would be using for things like uh, secret doors or um, uh, any, anything which blocks the line of sight but which we could be switched off and allow uh, a token to move through it. And the functionality is the same, so we just select the line tool and we can just uh, draw a line. And as you can see, uh, this is colored in blue and it also is dotted. And it's exactly the same thing. We just draw a line uh, like that using the mouse or the uh, space bar to make points. And then we just double click or press enter to finish our drawing. And again, we've got all the editing functionality. If we select a point, we can move it around. If we hold down Shift and select multiple points, uh, 
we can move uh, we didn't quite get that uh, we can move them around as well um, we can also double click to select everything and then just uh, delete it so the toggleable walls are very similar to the walls in most respects and of course we can also have uh, squares and we can have ellipses as well uh, with the toggleable walls just get rid of those um, and now let's look at the other two which are very similar the terrain and the uh, door tools uh, if we select the line and then the terrain tool uh, and when we start to draw a line here we see that we've got a green line rather than red or blue and this distinguishes the terrain from the uh, other types and again um, we can just uh, click um, using the mouse button or spacebar and you will see uh, here that there is a difference in that the the lines are always joining back to the first point and when we finish this by double clicking or pressing enter we see that the uh, line here finishes and joins to the uh, final point um, and this is because that uh, the terrain tool and the door tool um, are what we call clo closed polygons in other words they're always closed they're never a line and uh, they're always uh, closed like this so whenever you finish um, one of these uh, either a terrain or a door uh, then they will always uh, close uh, and this is important to realize um, what uh, the functionality of these are in game and how they actually work but these will always be uh, closed polygons um, the doors are uh, pretty much exactly the same if we select a door and let's make it a rectangle um, when we drag out we uh, get the entire thing it's closed um, if we use the line to do this then again we would see exactly the same thing as we saw with the terrain when we finish it closes uh, all the editing functionality is the same as well we can select a point uh, we can move it around we can double click to select the whole thing and move that around we can hold down uh, shift and select multiple points and then just move that bit around and always these will always be closed they will always remain uh, in their closed state no matter what you do to them uh, and of course you can double click uh, and then press delete uh, to uh, get rid of anything um, so now let's look at these two uh, buttons here the uh, remove points and delete points uh, let's select a wall and uh, rectangles and let's just draw a rectangle and then we'll draw another rectangle here now one thing that you'll have noticed that when we drew the second triangle uh, sorry the second rectangle um, that any points where the two lines crossed automatically created uh, a point and this is uh, very useful um, and we can use this uh, to our advantage when we come to actually putting a line of sight onto maps um, if we uh, select if we don't want this um, if we select this point here and then we use the remove point button uh, no, we didn't select it we haven't selected our selection tool um, if we remove this point um, you'll see that what happens is that that point uh, gets removed um, and the line then snaps to the lines or the points on either side of that point um, if uh, we on the other hand uh, put that back where we are where we are uh, if we select it again and this time we delete the point uh, you'll see that the difference is that that point got deleted and the two lines that stretch from that point to the nearest points uh, also got deleted so this leaves us with um, something which is actually um, a, a bit more useful and we're actually going to be using uh, this technique of being able to remove points and delete points um, in the in a future video to show how we can uh, do certain things with it but there is an important difference between removing a point and uh, actually uh, deleting a point 
Um, we can uh, demonstrate this uh, a bit more if we, for example, drew uh, a circle in here. Um, if we were then to uh, select a couple of points on this circle and then remove the points, uh, you'll see that the it has sort of broken the circle, if you like, um, that these two, this line has become straight, it's no longer curved. Um, if we uh, put that back uh, and then select the same uh, three points and this time we go into uh, delete points then it retains the circle and removes just that uh, particular section of the circle and all of this um, is useful uh, for certain uh, circumstances when you're adding occluders to a map so I think um, that's it for this video I think we'll end here uh, and we'll uh, continue on to look at something else in the next video. Uh, see you there. Cheers for now.